Hey guys, I'm sorry I haven't really recorded in over the past uh, few days. <clears throat> I had a lot of stuff I'd work with and other stuff I just got lazy and the weather just kind of acted up. But in the next video you'll see that. But today I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to record a pretty good video. My tripod's broken, I hope I can get a new one soon, but enough of bad will. Now we have this. So... This is how I think Cold Duty Cold War should structure future, future season content. I really should have wrote maps on here, but this video is really going to be more about uh, weapons. Yeah, hey, how all my shirts are dang short. So season two is just around the corner. I'm kind of hoping they go with an average six weapons instead of three like they did with the last game. Since uh, Modern Warfare 4 had way more content than Cold War did. So, Season 2, I'm kind of hoping it goes to it four weapons for tiers and two for challenges. So, there's the CZ-75 pistol. I want that to be like a 1911, but have like a barrel modification that makes it fully auto. Have like 12 rounds on bit standard. Quick reload, easy gun. And then the Dragon off, this one's obviously overplayed. I'd rather have the one be a spammy sniper or a good one, and not like the bad ones. Then the Galil for for tier 30, or tier 10, 20, 30, 40. That's how I want it. So the Galil is going to be the rifle. I hope it's going to be really good. Uh, I've, there's been a lot of leaks about it, and it has 35 rounds. So that's a good thing to do, right? Also made the Dragon off have 10 rounds. Don't do five. The HK-21 LMG, I want that to actually come back. But since this time, they're really starting to make all the LMGs belt, belt fed. I kind of hope the HK-21 either has both or just has the belt-fed version because that'd be pretty cool. Also, it does reload on the right, so just getting people confused. <coughs> In the mid-season update, which would have two weapons, I guess. The Foul Marshman Rifle. I hope using Marshman Rifles get five kills in three different matches. I want the Foul to be spammy and pretty high quality. I want it to be like... Uh, I guess a slower version of the M14, but also hit harder. The Scorpion, I want that to be like a 20 round SMG, also the Foul 20 round. Uh, using SMGs, get three rap rapid kills in four different matches. Uh, yeah, so the Scorpion, I hope, would be a fast shoot and low damage one, fast reload too. I don't want it to be like my own for one where it, you can't actually reload, cancel it. And then for season three. You see these? There's the Tech 9 as an SMG for tier 10. It's fine if they could split out some of the weapons and make it more even. And then the Model 1887. Since I do have this theory about how Call of Duty Cold War is actually copying BO4. Since at launch there was a pump action and a semi-auto shotgun. The first DLC was an automatic one. So a lever action just fits right up their alley. And there's a Daewoo. I hope the Model 1887 has 5 rounds. I want the Tech 9 to have 20. A Daewoo to have 30. And I guess a Beretta PG could be like a World War II weapon, like for the Yitra Burst, which it is in the game. Have like 20 or 24 rounds. The Daewoo, I want that to be like a better AK, but have a little more recoil. A Beretta PG would be a four-round burst weapon, which would be really unique. I hope it has its own, uh, has its own type of st statistical block, so it's different from all the other rifles. Then we got mid-season ones. The SSG-82, this is actually a very obscure East German weapon. The sniper rifle, it's really cool, and it's a bolt action. Have your first nice uh, DLC bolt ash going on. I don't like what they're doing, because it kind of looks like that for Season 2. I keep seeing about this one sniper rifle, and I think it's just terrible, since it's also a bolt action, but it has the magazine on the side like it's on freaking uh, Apex Legends. Uh, so using snipers, get 7 kills in 2 different matches. I like to keep these semi-difficult. I don't want it to go with how Activision does it to be like, hey, kill like three enemies in 15 different matches. Like, buddy, I don't have the time for that. An XR-86 would be is actually a really unique rifle. It's basically called the Frankenstein rifle since it combines an AR-15 an AR, AR type of thing with an M14. To shot, and I hope that one has like 20 rounds. I also want that one to have six rounds. We're going to go with it, but the XR-86 should be a fast shooting, heavy damage one. Cool reload too. Get six kills in three different matches using rifles. Let's take a breather for a second. I'm kind of steaming up a bit. Season four. Tier 10 would be... Oh, hold on a second. I got to change my hand position. I'm kind of holding my tripod at this moment. 
The coach gun, this one's obviously a double barrel shotgun. I think that'd be really cool. I do not want to see another Olympia clone. And at that point, I really hope it don't come. Oh, no Olympia's come back. And then there's an ant. MAS 55 rifle. This one looks beautiful. It, it's a 20. I want it to be a 20 round rifle to have the a similar I want to have similar attributes to the scar a nice average reload high damage slow fire rate that would be cool Also, when you add an extended match, please don't go with the 25 30 system. That one's really terrible go with like a 30 40 That'd be pretty cool Then another rifle would be the g3. This one is really lacking because it's only been in one quality game the first modern one and then i wanted to have more of a wood texture but can also get into the polymer texture like how it does for the mp5 in this game i wanted to have 30 rounds or 20 rounds to make it automatic actually i think one i want 30 rounds to have a nice difference have it automatic have an lmg drum at one point maybe 40 to 50 have a whole 50 round drum that'd be awesome an m1919 lmg uh this was actually in the files of modern warfare Four when the game was in beta, people were literally talking about it. And there's like five, six LMGs in the, in the making. But yeah, I basically just wanted like a, a faster shooting, more accurate, longer reload than like the M6. It's like a, I like, I wanted to be like between the M60 and the Stoner 63. And the mid-season guns, the KS-23, which is actually in Black Ops 1, but only in the campaign for some reason. Using shotguns to get two double kills in three matches. I would hope it has five or six rounds. I don't really care. Please do not have less than five. I want it to be like just like uh, the Ithaca 37 or the Hoover in the game. That's what they name it for some reason. And then the the WA-2000, which is a sniper. Everybody knows this one's only been in two games, despite being well-known. Using snipers to get seven long shots in a single match. That'd be tough, but really acceptable. <sighs> season five we have yeah it looks like my fingers are kind of getting kind of sore the pm63 smg this one's in black ops one it's a 20 round one i that'd be really cool to see i hope it also goes by a 30 40 system the whatever that word is uh oh crap i can't really get much of an angle yeah whatever this word means i it's in Forgotten Weapons. It's like a two-shot sniper that came around the same time, so it's pretty good. Other than that, it's also really unique. It's basically like the DVSR-50 from like BO3, but actually real. I want to have eight rounds, and it'd be pretty cool. The MPL, this one's also a Black Ops 1 SMG. I want that to come back. And then for an L1A2, I want to throw a curveball this time since... The previous LMGs we talked about are basically all belt fed. This one's actually magazine fed. It's an automatic foul. I want like that. I have like a 30 or 40 round mag. It'd be pretty cool. I also wanted to have a different iron sight. Not too bulky, not too thin. I wanted to have like like the iron a similar a very similar but older iron sight as to the MG36 in Modern Warfare 3. And then I really wish this one was here in the base freaking game. That could be awesome. The H15 Hill is basically the P90 but in the 1950s. Using SMGs to get three hip fire kills in three different matches. Since the Bullfrog basically took over the position as a 50 round SMG, I think this one should have 40 rounds. And it could also shoot really fast and have a really fast reload. The SKS is a Marshman rifle. This one was also found in the files. It's also very similar to the Modern Warfare one in a way, or the one Type 63. So I actually made this challenge unique. Using the Type 63, get seven kills in four matches. Since the Type 63 is abnormally good in this game, somehow. Have like the SKS in it. Maybe it could be come back as a sniper, but it'd make more sense as a Marshman rifle. Or just to be a clone to a Type 63. Season 6, uh, you have the high power... Actually, you have two pistols. Actually, I forgot. And I don't think I have she had... Pi no, I only have one or two pistols this whole list so far. The high power and the Type 80. The high power is basically just a higher ammo capacity, faster shoot 1911. Had a little less damage, but it's still going to be pretty good. The Type 80, I hope that one just starts fully automatic, so you have something to compete with the CZ-75. I have 20 rounds on base. I think it's said they actually missed out on making a machine pistol category. But other than that, the Kippers, this one's also from Black Ops 1. I want that to be a 20 round SMG. Be like a Russian Scorpion at that point, just be a whole counterpart to it. And for the rifle, which you're 40, uh, the SIG 530. This would be abnormally amazing. Like, imagine having a yellow rifle in the game. Pretty cool, though. 30 rounds. Probably like the Craig 6, except it shoots faster, but has lower damage. Clear iron sights. 
And then the mid-season weapons, uh, the HK Cause. This is basically a semi-auto or automatic shotgun based in the German branch. It can also be very good. You can get, use, using shotguns, get three rapid kills in two matches. Be pretty neat. You have a bullpup, 10-round ma mag shotgun. It's also semi-auto. The, L, the LF57. I was going to go with the LF58, but I think this one looks better. Using SMGs, get two long shots in five different matches. I forgot if I can go with 32 rounds or 40 rounds in that gun. 32 would be the best for it since it's, it, it's, be, it's best for balancing. And then this one's for hopeful thinking, or in this case, wishful thinking, two extra seasons. Since this game literally had, has no content. So for season 7, I hope for these, it'll be the Glock 17 is the pistol. Model 8, 11 is a shotgun. <clears throat> I have a Glock 17 is like one of those pistols that can be automatic. A Model 11 is going to be a semi-auto shotgun with five rounds. An AR-10, I'm pretty sure everybody wants this. It's basically a prelude to the AR-15, but it has 20 rounds, and it's a little more basic. It has the bolt inside the carry handle. The LS-26, this one's my personal favorite. I actually love this LMG for some reason. It's just Battlefield 5, and I kind of wanted to have more of an AK stack. I don't want the bolt to be on top. I'd rather be have it on the side. But other than that, have 20 rounds, have it go up to 70. would be pretty cool. Mid-season weapons, a G11 and a Spectre. These are both from Black Ops 1, so everybody knows this. It, in this case, I made the G11 a rifle and not a Marshman rifle. Please have 50 rounds and not 48. I don't want to have to shoot a 3-round burst, and if you have to make it a Marshman rifle, you better make it a 5-round burst. So using rifles, get 10 kills in 5 matches. The Spectre, I want that to be just like the MP5. It also has 30 rounds. Using SMGs, get qu quad kills in 4 different matches. I was going to go off 2, but I had to erase it. And finally, we got our season eight. The VP70 pistol can start. A, it can also be a three-round burst pistol and actually com compete with the Diamati, aka the Dementia. It could also have 15 rounds. The FRF1, which is basically a sniper, it's a bolt action too, which is really good. Also have like five to ten rounds, and then there's a Colt 600, which in real life is a Colt 601. I wouldn't you name it that. I don't really like when numbers go 601 out of nowhere. Unless it's a certain gun and I start getting used to it. But that's also going to be a rifle. I hope it has 30 rounds. It's going to be like a fully automatic M16. And then a Type 96, I basically had no idea. So I just slapped that one in there. So it's basically, yeah, you know this one from like World of War. But it's called the Type 99 in that game. This one's farted. Mid-season, uh, the H10 shotgun. This was also in Black Ops 1. The L85 came out in 1985 since... That is one of the three possible, four possible years you can even get in this game, from 1982 to 1985. Using shotguns, you get a triple kill in three matches. You get an H HS10, please have six rounds. An L85, you know this one, that was just in the previous game. Just, just try making it look a little older. Using rifles, get two long shots at five matches. Yep, that's the whole paper. Just get a whole glance of it. Okay, I hope these rifles come to the game. The L85, I hope it's good. I hope they go of eight seasons to six. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Check out for the next video. Blah, blah, blah.